hopefully this conversation isn't too bad. I mean, Roxanne understood and Circus Baby even understood. So hopefully Freddy also Wee woo, wee so. woo, wee woo. Oh. The security system is going off, Freddy. There's someone at the oh. door. <laughs> it's probably under the raccoon. Oh. Yeah, it's Whoa. definitely a raccoon. Bruh. Whoa. Hey, not a raccoon. Get the broom. Oh, no, don't get the broom. I'm just don't kidding. I'm just kidding, Gregory. Come you on in. A security system? Yeah, I just we, installed we... it. We got it for Christmas. Oh, I guess yeah. it's probably not a horrible idea that you got that. I mean, Although, you guys have Monty people showing somehow still past it all the time, and we still don't know how. Monty does a lot of things that we don't really understand. I have a theory. I think he dug a hole somewhere in the yard. He goes down into the hole and it leads into his room. But I can't prove it yet because I can never go down there. Don't alligators yeah. live in sewers? Uh, I thought uh, maybe. That's only in New York. Are there alligators in the sewers in New York? Also, Monty's a crocodile. Bruh. Right? No, Monty Gator. Oh, yeah. Anyways. Don't tell him I said that. I no. am actually here for a specific reason. Not to be beaten by a broom, because I'm not a raccoon. Oh. Yeah, no. Well, that's I'm not any fun. I'm going to go make a snack. Yeah, I'm surprised you're really? here, Superstar. I thought today you were spending the whole day with Roxanne. Um... Well, I was, and we've been kind of talking a lot lately. Um, Circus Baby, I might actually Hi. need you here oh. for this, depending on how it goes. Um, it's that uh, what thing that we <gasps> oh, um, that thing that we talked about when we went to McDonald's and kind of had you hear the uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. So, um, listen, I talked to Roxanne about it, and I kind of got her opinion on it a little bit, and we both think that you'll react fine. So I'm hoping everything will be good. If you don't um, react fine, I'll beat you with the broom. Okay. Honestly, I'll help, I'll help beat you with the broom. Hey, <laughs> father um, abuse is the real thing. I've been, you know, having a lot of thoughts lately, and I've kind of been curious about my birth parents. <laughs> oh, I guess that makes sense at some point, since... Me and Roxanne aren't your biological parents. Yeah, I mean, he is adopted after all, so... I mean, it's only natural that he's curious about where he comes from. And the kicker is, he doesn't have any knowledge about anything prior to being at the Pizzaplex with you, so... That, yeah. I can actually, uh, sympathize with you with, actually. Based on all the stuff I've been going through recently, so... Oof. Yeah. yeah. No, that's so kind of why I in. thought you guys uh, would be able to have the this conversation pretty easily, because, uh, well, Freddy's been looking for his mom, and I guess you're just looking for any information about your previous family, so... Yeah, yeah. I'm, I've been trying to find information on your grandmother. Well, I heard. Your adoptive grandmother. Mm -hmm. How's it going? Your grandpa, Golden Freddy, sent a fake version of supposedly her to try to distract me yeah oh. she was like a, a robot and she kind of started glitching out um it was pretty weird but it was very entertaining i'm still mad that you sent her home we right. could have had a free maid but oh okay i don't think that's the point well yeah but it, you know at least get something out of it you know yeah i guess i should be happy that you guys don't have magic i'm sure that would not bode well um anyways so i've been trying to kind of figure out with Roxanne the best plan of action to kind of figure out more information. I want to go to the pizza plex and I want to get information, but Roxanne is saying that there's probably not anything, but she's saying that it could be probably the best place to look. I mean, I just, I don't know how to find any information. And I thought, you know, you're like the head person at the pizza plex. So if anyone would know, it was you. Plus you're kind of the first person to find me at the pizza plex so did you happen to do any digging or anything when you oh found of me? course i did don't they yeah. also take information from all their customers and stuff at least like names and emergency contacts right oh yeah no when you register an account it's basically the same as every other you know put down your name address and uh emergency contact information when i found gregory there it was strange but the only thing that was on his documentation was just his name Everything else was huh. blank. You shouldn't be able to complete a profile like that, but apparently his was. Okay. It was just my name? Was there yeah. at least a last name? I mean, there had to have been no. something, right? No, what? just a first name. No last name, no surname, no contact information. That's why I took you in right away was because there was nothing. Well, 
Don't you think that's kind of weird? I feel like someone has to be hiding something, right? Have you guys ever seen something like this before? I guess you wouldn't really know. You don't look yeah. at the pizza plex, but... No. Our systems was pretty airtight. It was made by some coding geniuses. So in order for that to happen, two things must have happened. A rare glitch must have happened or someone hacked. I was just going to say, what if all the information was there, but then someone hacked in later and deleted it? Maybe. Maybe someone is behind this. Why would someone hack it, though? I don't know. I'm not that important, am I? I mean, I'm just a kid. Well, you're important to me, that's for sure. But maybe well, there's a bigger thing know. behind all of this. I mean, maybe where or whoever you come from was like a top secret FBI agent or something, and they didn't <gasps> need their name attached to Wait, really? whatever. I think my parents were part of the FBI. Wait, that's so cool. <laughs> well, I don't know exactly. Don't get your hopes up, Gregory. I'm just saying there there might be something bigger behind all this that we don't realize, maybe. But yeah. It also could have just been a glitch. I mean, we don't know. Something weird could have well, happened. I could just be like that one in a million. I was uh, talking to Roxanne about everything and we were thinking it either could maybe, uh, my parents could be one of the customers that was there and I was dropped off at, at daycare or yeah, well, maybe I, it was a worker at the pizza plex I, or- um, All that stuff I kind of thought about too. So when we found you, I put out a police report it went out to all the employees and asked them if they have seen you before, but no, that no one has. And after a, a while, the date basically said that no one had come forward, so you were awarded to the state. And that's where our story began, Gregory. That's, I saw you there, and then I basically said that you can just stay with me. And the rest is history, essentially. You became the star of the game, I mean. So that's good, right? Yeah, I mean, it was great, but... You know, beyond just glitches or hacks, that's where things get even weirder. I mean, a computer glitch or a system glitch is one thing, but when I try to think about anything from my past, I can't think of anything before the pizza plex. It's all just kind of foggy in my memory. Just, it almost feels like it doesn't exist. You don't it's like think there was nothing beforehand. That sounds an awful lot like your story, Freddy. You don't think your dad had something to do with this, do you? No. If it was my dad, he would have left some kind of trace behind. Yeah. Magical wise or something. Like, do you feel any sort of headaches or any nausea when you try to think back on it? Not really. It's kind of just more, I just can't think about it. That was the weirdest thing too. Uh, I was telling Roxanne, I don't fully understand it, but it almost felt like some sort of like spell or something was lifted, you know, just in the last couple of months because I've never thought about it before, but all of a sudden out of nowhere, I just have been having these really weird dreams and awful nightmares about different family members or just different weird things going on. And then it really got my mind thinking, you know, as much as I love you and Roxanne, I mean, I had to have come from somewhere, right? No it's one perfect. can give me any it's information. It's perfectly normal to think about where you come from. I mean, I've been trying to figure out who my mom is since I've been in a similar boat, so I completely understand. You don't have to worry about my feelings. I think everyone supports you, Gregory. And I think we're all a little bit curious about where you come from as well, so. Yeah, I mean, yeah. now that you mention it, it is all strange. I was attributing it to some kind of glitch, but the fact that no one ever came for you and you were just appeared at the pizza plex? Yeah, it's really weird, isn't it? It's yeah. really weird. It just feels like it's not really a coincidence. I just think there's too many things. I mean, the weird glitch or hack or whatever it was, my weird brain fogginess, you know, I just can't think of anything. The fact that everything in my name just, it was literally just my name. There was no address, no contact, no last name. Like, what do you mean I don't have a last name? That doesn't make any sense, right? No, it doesn't at all. And I definitely think someone's behind this, so... I don't know. I think the best thing would be for you and Roxanne to go back to the pizza plex and just do some digging. Uh, maybe look at your files, see if there's a time and a date on it. See other files that also have the same time and date. Just anything of the sort. Maybe there's another file with no information on it as well. But what if someone did have something to do with this and I'm never going to find out because all of the information was like deleted or something? I think you have to prepare yourself for that too, Gregory. I mean, I'd love more than anything for you to get all the answers that you're looking for, but there's a possibility that you won't. I mean, the police and Freddy already did, so they already looked and everything. We have tech experts that scrubbed our 
database. Not scrub, but searched our entire database. The weirdest thing too, Gregory. We don't even have footage of you walking in the pizza plex or anyone walking in with you. Really? Wait. No. What? Do you have we footage from the rest of the day? Yeah, but when we try to look at footage at the entranceway to see if there was anyone that walked in with you, blank. This just even proves it. Someone's behind this and they're trying to cover up something, Gregory. They have to be. Oh, that makes me feel really weird. I don't, I don't like that. Gregory, just come here. Come here, just, just relax, okay? okay? Just breathe. Just remember, you're not alone in this. Even if you started off alone, you're definitely not anymore. Like, you have me, Roxanne, Circus Baby. Heck, I even think the other animatronics would fight for you, too. Definitely. Yeah. Just I promise really... you won't do anything stupid or alone, please. No, I won't. Don't worry. Um, I think the next course of action is Roxanne and I going to the Pizza Plex. I don't know if there's, like, some way that we can find someone to help us even hack into the system. I mean, you work there and Roxanne works there, so maybe we can find a way to do that. The only yeah. issue with that would be it might send an alert across everybody. I, I don't think it's really in your guys' programming to mess with those sort of files, is it? Well, I was the owner. When uh, the game was completed, they basically awarded the Pizza Plex to us and I took ownership. So if anything, uh, here. I'm gonna text Roxanne my admin information. Okay. There's no one else with a higher clearance than me. So, there. Roxanne should have my admin information, so there shouldn't be any files that she can't unlock with that. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you, Freddy. Right. I really appreciate it. My determination and your admin passwords and Roxanne and everything. I hope we're actually able to figure this out and we can get to the bottom of it. I hope so. Just promise me you won't do anything stupid, please. I won't. Don't worry. We're just going to the pizza plex. We go there all the time. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? <laughs> oh, wait. Uh, oh, the security system is going off. Uh, Gregory, I think Roxanne's here to pick you up. Oh, um, okay. Perfect. Well, thank you guys. Um, of course. Uh, again, keep us updated on anything that goes on. I'm sure we'd really want to know. All right. Just well, uh, keep me updated, please. Will do. Good luck, Gregory. Bye. Bye.